This video shows you how to access the quilting designs that are provided in this add-on. So first go up to open an existing project. And if you scroll down in the list, there are two project files, DJ4 and DJ5. DJ4 are all of the center blocks and DJ5 are the border blocks. Um, these are set up so that you can see the quilting on top of the actual block. So let's go ahead and open up the center blocks master. Now usually when you open up a master project, we have you save it with a new name. You can do that for this by clicking edit and doing a file save as. And again, just name it um, DJ my center quilting. Now once you have it saved, let's go up to the project sketchbook. So click on the view project sketchbook button. Let's click on the blocks tab first. On the blocks tab, there are all 169 of the center blocks included here. On the stencils tab are all 169 of the quilting designs. Now you can go through and just edit one of these quilting designs to the block work table and then print it from there. Or if you wanted to see, sometimes it's helpful to see those designs actually on the block itself. That's what these are for. So we went through and we set every one of the quilting designs onto its respective block in a quote unquote quilt in EQ so that you can see how the quilting aligns with the actual block. So let's go ahead and click and I'll edit this one to the work table. Now again, this is a technically a quilt, but it's really just for your visual reference. So there are two options that you can do as far as getting these designs. So let's go up to print and export and choose quilt. Now, if you wanted to print out the design with the block behind it, you would choose quilt. And this is the, the printout that you would get. So this is only, again, for your visual reference so you can see how this should be quilted on top of the block. Now, if you wanted to transfer the design onto your quilt um, using different quilting methods, you would actually want to print the quilting design by itself, not with the block behind it. So to do that, you need to click on layer three down at the bottom. Choose layer three, then select the block. You're actually selecting the quilting design and click block. See, only the quilting design is selected right now because you have layer three selected. If you were on layer one, which let me go back and do that. If you do layer one and select the block and choose print block, you will only be printing the block itself and not the quilting. So it's very important that you choose layer three. Layer three, select the block and choose print block in the on the left panel. Now that you have this selected, you can make any set setting changes here. You want to keep the size the same as it is. And I would choose outline drawing. You could choose quilting stencil, but it gives kind of like a dashed line to look to it. So if you want more of a solid line, I would just choose outline drawing and click preview. So that is the quilting for block B5. I'm going to show you another one. So then to get, to get another block, I go back to the project sketchbook, choose another one and hit edit. Again, print and export. To print the design with the block behind it, go ahead and click quilt in preview and then you can choose print to print the quilting design by itself choose layer three select the design and choose black and when you hit preview you're getting the four and a half by four and a half inch quilting design for b6 and you can print that and then put that onto your quilt and use whatever transfer method to get that design onto your quilt now these quilting designs are also in the block library. So you don't actually have to open up these projects if you want to just get the, the designs from the library. 
So you can just scroll down to Dear Jane add-on, click the plus sign to open up the libraries, and go to Quilting Designs. We have Border Blocks and Center Blocks. Now you can choose all of the designs that you want, hit Add to Sketchbook, and then print them from the block work table. Now if you open the sketchbook again, one thing that's nice is that Beth Lewis, the woman who went through and examined the quilts to figure out what the actual quilting was, she actually put together some note card information for you about each of the designs. So you can pin this, click the pin button, and click through and see all the different notes that she has included about each design. So that's really helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact Electric Quilt Company and we can help you out with answering any of those questions regarding using the quilting designs in your add-on.